Good morning, afternoon, evening, etc. Whenever it is for you, everybody, and welcome back to Monster Train. Apologies, missed the day before, etc., etc. You know the drill. Uh, I didn't do this in the last video, by the way, but again, probably not as needed. Videos aren't for kids. I say some words or some things that might be considered unfamily friendly, so don't watch if you're under the age of being too young. Thank you kindly. I do apologize, of course. I, I've mentioned the uh, you know, missing videos uh, frequently. I'm just gonna take a moment to put this as a side here. Um, not to really just go into too many details, but there's clearly something mentally bringing me down as of pretty much the last few months. I don't know if it's being inside all the time. I go outside and get sunlight. Don't worry. Get my vitamin D. Either, you know, through the 120 degree Vegas, Vegas sun or through some vitamins. Um, but mentally, I've been in, in a bit of a rut, a bit of a block. I like, you know, like I was thinking about it here. I'm like, oh, I was going to do Hades today or yesterday even. And I get done with work after doing a little bit of overtime. And I'm like, I am too tired and I do not have the desire to play a lot of video games or record it, at least at the very least. Um, I'm still doing this because I want to make sure I am keeping up with uh, some sort of presence on my, my YouTube channel, which is still my own little pride and joy. But <clears throat> so I didn't want to harp on this, but here I am like a minute into it. Just mentally, a lot bringing me down that's preventing me from just doing a lot of recordings. As much as I want to in some cases, I just can't bring myself to for whatever reason. Whether it's can't find myself to be funny or don't want to force myself to, a variety of reasons, uh, you know, just a mental hump. It's a work in progress, therapy, etc. You know, sussing all that out is a, a bit of a process that, uh, you know, got to make sure I follow through with. So your continued patience is always appreciated. But with Monster Train, the good news is I can play this game no matter how I'm feeling in most cases because it's, it's a very chill game to play. I, ca I can't barely, you know, go... Oh, dude, you know, excited YouTuber voice, even though I, like, I rarely do that. In some cases, it's not, like, a fake voice either, though. It's, like, the real deal. Uh, it's because the game's pretty chill. Like, you see the, the damage coming way before, you know, it catches you off guard and you get surprised. And in my case, maybe you just, like, do some math wrong and you're like, oh, we're good. And you get there, you're like, no, we're not good. <laughs> we're short, like, ten grand. The company sunk. All right. Anyway, your continued patience as I sporadically record and not record is always... Appreciate and understand, you know? You can always say howdy in the comments. I don't mind that at all. A hi, a criticism, etc. Whatever you want to do. I do my best to respond to those as frequently as I can. Let's stop rambling about meta stuff in my life and let's play some video games. Which is going to be the Melting Remnant. And I do like having them with Hellhorn. That was a pretty good, like, uh, you know, benefit on top of it. I think I'm going to do it again. Apologies if it's a little too vanilla for you, but, like, that's good. I think this is some good shit. There's my swear for the video. Again, not for kids. Don't watch. If you stay if you're still watching and you heard me say that, you gotta go. You gotta you gotta go. You gotta go. Get out of here. Alright? Not for children. I'm just a middle not middle age, just a mid twenties office worker who just wants to play games. And I swear, I apologize. Alright. Wicklash, enhance you new with five attack, burnout two, it's decent. Fledgling imp. It's okay. Subsuming blade. There's only one, so we can make it work, but I, I have issues with these type of cards unless I'm... The deck is, like, ultra thin, and I'm just, like, you know, banging this thing out, like... Like that, like, we're getting damage up permanently. We'll do our best on this run. Starting us off, we're gonna get... Please give me the one that reforges units. Excellent. I don't even have to worry about considering the other option, because this thing, I think, is horrible. I think Accumulator, Richter, Rector Flicker is not good. Um... Because the other guy, I think he's like a 50-50 in a burnout too. Yeah, he burns out in two turns, but you just time it right and play him in front of a boss, you're good. This, I feel like you need a bit more ingenuity that I lack. Reforming units, that's something I can and will do. If you use Mallet, very good to take care of some trash mobs. Demons getting multi-strike out the gate could be an opening for us. Could be, may, you know, may not be. Um... I think having the chip damage or the chance of like, you know, dusting those low HP units, you know the ones, especially the one that makes everyone go to the third floor instantly, is nice. We're applying some, uh, you know, understanding, some logic in the game now. We're getting to our slightest by our roots of understanding how and when to, you know, grab a relic and what enemies we're anticipating. We're doing more than just like seeing things at face value. He says as he immediately grabs like the trial that gives us spikes. I'm not worried. Not in the slightest. Don't get you know this individual. Play some Richter. He's gonna die. Well aware he is going to die. That's why we slap out one of these guys. He is also going to die. That individual is also said and going to die, but that's okay, because we dust one of them. 
Okay, I could have put this guy behind, you're right. Did I mention it worked a lot of overtime today? It's fine, because they do come back to life, which was ideally the plan. And we just continue, uh, you know, grinding at it as we do here. So everyone here is still set to expire. Hold fast or expire. They'll do both. Um, and we just continue to, you know, plop some dudes down and get some Dunkachinos wherever, whenever possible. Roast and toast. Roast and toast. Send them. Alright, lots of big boy units coming at you fast. And he's sticking around, which is good. Big burnout. Less than ideal, but I am going to go like this. And we will give this guy some extra turns since he will... Ah, uh, this is actually not... Not good in the slightest. Um... Hold, hold for the moment. I think everyone's about to get completely crushed here, but that's okay. Because if they get crushed, we get a, a benefit. Like, yeah, look at these big dredges. Big dredges, big benefits. He's going to expire, which is good. Then we'll get, uh, ideally, one of our good fledgling imps out there. So you get dunked. There we go. So it's a little bit of a damage up, uh, but these units up here are about as good as it's going to get. And we just need to make sure we uh, send them on their way. All right, all right. First up, take the hit. Second up, win. All right, we've done it. We've done the two steps we need to do on this turn. Get sent. So that was well worth it, even though there was a bit of risk involved. Totally fine, totally casual, it's good. I don't want a second Subsuming Blade. I want one, and I want to stack it as much as physically possible. Entombed Explosive. There is a place for this. I will grab one, because we can respawn it. Uh, I will grab one. Uh, Spell-wise, fortify those who try will fortify five extra armor before you die. Alright. Uh, fortify. Mmm... It's not like the end-all be-all. I mean, we want Rector to stay alive forever. What we should have done is put him on the top floor in hindsight, but, um, you know, worked out okay. Uh, Vince, you might argue there's a good uh, spell opportunity there. I'm gonna argue that my infused mouth's gonna carry me further, and the things it doesn't kill, we will throw the knife at. Which is already at eight whopping damage. Give me the money. Alright, alright, alright. First floor done and dusted. Lots of spell damage, or money over here. I mean, an extra unit would be nice. We're kind of hinging on this being a bit of a carry point for us, and then, you know, reforming all of our dredges. So I am going to go over here, because I want to enhance the knife. It is, a, it is in my DNA to enhance this card that was given to us. First step in doing so. You got to upgrade that cost so it's reasonable to play. Second step, 10 extra damage may seem like the choice. Might actually be the choice. I'm trying to think like if double stack on Substituting Blade works. You know what? Hang on. Let's do a classic Google in game. Double stack 911. Double stack Wendy's? Monster Train. Hey, it's on the list. Double stack 9mm. There's a lot of double stacks out there. Alright. Actually, how about we just go Monster Train Subsuming Blade? There we go. Is there like a sort of like a comprehensive wiki on what upgrades can be applied to certain cards? Here we go. Maybe this. Gameplay tips. Gameplay dot tips. I am looking. I'm looking. So it didn't tell me if it does, but it did give me an insight that I would prefer rather than having this get 10 extra damage. We want this to get hold over. So, hit him with a reroll. Bada boom, bada bing. There it be. Alright. Spell cost going down to zero. Let's go ahead and slap that onto the Wicklash here. Get some extra damage from them when possible. And, you know, get a torch up to 12 damage so we have an extra little, like, uh, targeted snipe outside of our knife. Also pretty good. 
Send me on my way, chief. This is good, now the blade's gonna come back pretty frequently, and I saw, like, per this, uh, website, guide, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, it's like, yeah, there's a, a good chance this will get to 40 damage by the end of the game, which is not very reassuring, but up until that point, if we use the, um, you know, holdover, we might be able to get a little bit more out of it. Mark of the Invasion. At the start of battle, enemy units appear on each floor. Who are we dealing with? Okay. No, don't, don't like that. You're always an easy one to dust. Top floor is gonna get dazed with this thing, yeah. This is like a hard one to do whenever you have the Covenant Ring for dazes. I'm gonna say no. Much to my chagrin. We're gonna start off strong. This isn't even gonna die, which is unfortunate, but let's get some damage out there. We're okay if this thing lives and this guy carries on. We wanna get some knives into her. All right, that's an easy Dunkachino. And I will slap some dredges here. We're gonna get the kill up here. All good. Let's go ahead and slap on some extra damage to you. Yeah, it increases the damage output. Don't worry about it. It's all... It's all in the cards. It's all expected. It's all anticipated. There we go. This is what we were hoping for, so... You dunk him. Yeah, he gets stronger. Big whoop. Slap down the unit. The knife's gonna come right back, so we're gonna focus it on him in a second. Or her. And then, uh, yeah, give some extra Wicklash damage here. Perfect. No, not perfect. We killed him. Alright, it still works out, because we can just knife these guys. So, first things first. You gotta go. And then we're going to slap down some high-quality dredge units. And by high-quality, I mean they're just okay. And send these on their way. We want to get the extra knife damage, so I'm holding out. Dust them. Big dredge. Should have played him instead. Mistakes were made. It's okay. This unit in front absorbs the hit. Apply burnout. Oh. Increase on burnout to you. And we got the KO right there, boys. Solid. Very solid. HP still looking fine. Pyre hasn't even been scratched outside of the initial scratches it gives us. A second entombed explosive. Quite nice. A draft. That's an actual unit that we will stack if we go for him. Uh. I just love the draft so much. It's, it's it's a very good carry unit, and we could use the damage. This is a sort of like a hole over get us through the game sort of damage. That ain't gonna do work against uh, Seraph. Draft? Draft will. Uh, the rest of this is sort of subject to some concern. I will grab Rage. Rage 8. We can apply that to a lot of units, namely the draft, and we will make that cheaper so we can't play it rather than have to worry about that, you know, big three cost uh, hovering over our head. Like, in your head. Monster unit upgrades? Yes, indeedy dandy. But first, Concealed Cavern, sir. Ooh! A fissure in the, uh, a fissure in the ice forces the Bone Shaker to stop. You've seen cracks like this before, often allowing you to multiply one of your forces through some ancient magic, but this one is different. Unstable. I know this event. Oh. Copy five, huh? <laughs> uh, what would you do? I don't know if I want extra substituting blades. Because uh, I don't think it stacks. I might be wrong in assuming that, but I'm not. I'm not going to jump into that. I think we'll copy one card. It's clearly going to be dead weight, right? <laughs> no. I think it'll be, uh... Frick. This isn't, like... The cost hasn't been reduced on that, so that's a harder sell. I'll get a second draft. I could have went for five drafts and then started thinning out the dredges. The dredges still serve a purpose. 
Small one, mind you, but it's still a purpose nonetheless. Slay, apply a rage to enemy units. Or friendly units, not enemy units. That'd be horrible. Welcome aboard. Multi-strike. Alright, amping up that draft. Extra burnout, extra damage. That's pretty good. We could do more, though. We can get bigger damage. We want you to be killing stuff, actually. If we're gonna get those rage procs. Let's go ahead and give you rage 7. And just give you the, uh... The small burnout up. I had 65 gold left, and I chose to reroll. Like a, a very intelligent individual who was not looking at his money at all. My bad. No double barrel. God damn it, dude. Dalus. You need to talk. Even though I can counter this with my knife. I don't like your double barrel. Also, my hammer has not procced at all on this one. Excuse me, princess? gonna chew right through us, so we're gonna go for a stack on this floor. I'm aware. He burns out, like, instantly. It gives us time to get him back. Get him on board. Get him going. We're just burning out everyone anywhere we can. Knife, please. There it is. Knife acquiesced. Good kills. Get a little bit more. Train stewards kind of got to go now. Um, quick lash. Keep them coming. Knife, 20 damage. You'd love to see it. Don't love to see this, though. Hold up. What kind of enchantment is it? Top floor? Yeah, I don't think so, Chief. Sit yourself. Sit yourself on that. And prep up for this. Everything still dies. Which is bad. Okay. Oops. Oops is uh, probably the right word. Because, yeah, these, these girls are 100% getting away. Uh, Brig? Brig is also a word. Because it doesn't matter if I play them here, they're just going to get burned out. So we are just sort of slapping units down wherever we can. She will die on the first turn around the corner up there, but it's still going to get... Some good smacks in here. Hurts my soul. That's alright. Learn from this. Just a little bit of damage. Just just a little bit of damage. Okay. Dunk a Chino. He is gonna get dusted. That's good. There we go. Some damage. Huzzah. That allows us to squeeze out a draft if we get a nice draw. There we go. You plug in the draft in the very back. You go for a 26 smack on the knife damage there, and then you suffer. Okay, it's, it's looking spiced right now. We should be alright. The dredges can take a hit or two. However, do we want them to? We want them to live long, happy, healthy lives. So this guy's gonna stay alive longer than these guys' burnout, right? One smack, two smack. Hang on. Smack. Smack, smack. Smack, smack, smack. Okay, yeah, this guy needs to go. 
Also because they don't smack on the opening turn. Which is bad. Um, please stick around and smack more. We are smacking as hard as we can, and it is not enough to kill this individual. So be it. Alright. From the top. I mean, you know, if I have to pivot here, there was nothing I could do, dude. I didn't get the combo I wanted, etc. ETC, you know the drill. Poor play on my part, but I... Whenever I get the knife, I want to make it work. I don't feel like the knife is the right choice. This, however, although I prefer the one that, like, brings people back from the dead, because that gives you bigger benefits overall. This kind of keeps crap units in longer. That's how I see it, not how it is. Um, but Hornbreak. I love Hornbreak. That is a good spell to get extra spell damage on. We will do that, and we have two of them. It's excellent. Resident removal is also excellent. Remove all debuff effects from friendly units. Solid. Remove all buff effects. This allows us to go through some of those trials without any worry. We can remove all those thorns on those thorny boys, and they don't even have a chance to use it. We get the extra money for free, essentially. It's like taking out a loan, but the loan has no interest payments. In fact, you don't even need to pay it back at all. You just gotta sign on the dotted line with the card every time it comes up. Alright. These analogies suck. What do we got here? Resolve and reform. Send me. Send me on my way. Five gold when a friendly unit dies. Excellent. This is a moneymaker run already. Let's go. Not best enemy units get four attack. Sounds like a challenge. I'm in. Oh, it's a challenge, all right, but it ain't nothing. This ain't nothing. Uh, it's a little bit of something, however, but yeah, we'll go for an opening Richter Flecker on the first floor. Even though I stated before, probably not ideal. I want the extra damage so we can start chipping away at her. And we just go ahead and slap someone like this down here. Roast Cupid. Dunk her. And then you're gonna be like, all right, what do you do here? Dunk her. Slap this guy down to take up some hits for you. Send him. Send him here. Send. Good sending. Good sending. In fact, keep those boys alive for the moment. Uh, final wave. Might have biffed it because we didn't respawn a bunch of lads. Okay, yeah, that is a minor biff, but it's okay. Acceptable biff. We're gonna buff up these guys and we'll be okay. Besides, if things die, we get money. We like money. Okay, we got problems. I was kind of hoping that would work a little differently. You know what I was going for there. Uh, okay, this guy's getting to the top floor. Hindsight should have put uh, Richter up here. Rector. What, I, Rector. Richter, whatever his name is. You can call him whatever you want. Um, so some biffage. Some biffage. That's that's acceptable, I suppose. Uh, smack. Smack, smack. Hey. Smack, smack. All right. He gets one smack in on the furnace. That's fine. We got maximum money off that floor was the actual plan. You see how much money I made from this? That was the real plan. Let him kill everything. And then, you know, pick up the change. Entombed Explosive, welcome back. Welded Helper is actually not bad. I'm trying to think if it's right, though. Because we are, he's going to be like sack target number one. And every time he comes back, he makes the unit last longer, but we kind of want them to get sacked. I still think it's the right choice in this deck. Uh, here we go. Wickless Tycoon. We can make a lot of money on this run right now. With a lot of money, we can springboard ourselves to some very powerful units. That being said, the spell damage for, you know, the pierce attacks that I have are going to be priority. <laughs> so I can make this cost one and give... No, I only have two upgrade slots. I can make it cost two and have it do... 25 pierce damage? It's pretty good. Let's start off with the basics. Let's just go for an upgrade on that. The moats here, we want those to do a little bit more, and we're okay if those get fizzled out. 
No, dude. This is horrible. It's the opposite of what I wanted. Alright, fine. Both of our horn breaks are free, but they are weak. We're hoping to get some extra damage on them. Could give them a holdover, but there's no point in holding over something so weak. And the Wicklash, I don't like these. I, again, I want the units to die so I can respawn them and get better benefits out of them, so I don't really want to upgrade those. I might be doing something wrong in that sort of, uh, you know, method of thinking, but... Seems right to me. That's what we're going to go for. Lady of the House. Excellent burnout unit. That's one you probably would be okay buffing, but if we can get her to die and come back, it's even better. Invasion is risque. It's very risque. Look at all that money we could get, though. I don't think it's worth it. I don't think you can go for Mark of the Invasion. Do I have a stream open somewhere? Oh, I do. <laughs> Alright, glad I noticed that before it actually started recording here. Oh, it's LCS. 30 minutes? We got time. Cool. Uh, so, start us off here. Richter, on your way. Uh, Wigless Tycoon, for what we're trying to do, me putting these two down here does not, does not meet that goal in the slightest. It does stop these guys from coming up here, though. Also, you just need to go. Hold up. Put it here, roast that, and we'll say, hey, just do a little bit of damage for us, all right? Thank you kindly, sir. Because here, yeah, this is what you want. You want to be slapping down all of these guys so they can expire, and then you get a big payout as a result. Also continue to sack those guys because they're annoying. Get the kill on her, get the money, keep them coming. I don't know what I'm expecting to happen. Anything is the answer, but that's that's not the reality. Uh, we'll put one of you up here. That's a contingent sort of plan. Now we'll actually whiplash you. So there's the bomb. Excellent. And then we slap onto that even more. Excellence. And then we slap onto that even more. Excellence. Slap off one of these guys. Got some money. These guys are all gonna die, but that's another 15 gold coming our way. And some decent damage. Dredge it. Dredge it. Dredge it. Dust it. Send it. Alright, and we're good. So putting this guy up here uh, retroactively was the correct play. As we successfully Dunkachino this individual. Alright, be gone. Look at that, 250 gold. We're rich. 300 gold, richer. Um, don't really like any of these. Not at all, boy. I, I'm probably not understanding some of the meta when it comes to this guy, but... Like, healing something that I, I... I just really want them to die so they get reformed and get stronger. You get plus five, plus five when they die. There's something to be said about, you know, the Wicklash is giving them plus five without them having to die, but all my other units that are there to defend them are going to die. So, it's like, what's the point? And plus, getting the extra HP on them and giving them a bigger burnout timer is kind of nice. Especially if they continue to die, right? I probably have some flawed thinking here, but uh, so be it. I don't think getting a heal is the right choice doesn't make him stronger. It just keeps the garbage units in longer. I hope I'm not flawed logic there. If I am, please someone let me know. I need to be told when I'm being a fool. I also realize I don't have Fledgling Imp as a gold card yet. It's crazy to think. Welder it is. Welder it is. Like, these are guys we want to, like, get sacked so we can bring them back and make more money off of the Memorial Fund. And the Tycoon. Um... Trinket could be nice. Trinket could be really nice. And an extra remnant unit could be, you know, the added benefit we need. Upgrading our current units. Deb baitable. Like, just giving this guy extra HP is fine. Giving Lady of the House extra, a lot of things would be fine, too. I don't think it's as necessary. Let's go for the Relic. 
Days when they enter the train, that's good. Demons get multi-strike. You really want me to take that, don't you? I don't have any demons for that to really work out, so concussive coals it is. Chance of days is pretty good in its own, right? So the thug, that's a unit you would want to upgrade to make more money. That's 20 gold a pop. Needs to be in a position where he can strike first, of course. And he has 3 HP, so it's a little harder. But it's doable, especially on that second floor. Or a second lady of the house was just, again, just solid units. I think I'm going to want some solid units, and then we're going to buff these guys up with the money we're already making, so... Hand waving right now, that's good. That's that's the plan. Oh, it's you, alright. Oh, well, you give me a relic, so I will do it. 10%? Nope. 25? Nope. And he usually does it on this one. As well as getting an extra upgrade slot. Excellent! We can make our slices even stronger. We have a lot of dudes we want to upgrade now, and we have the capital to do so for the runs we're going through here. No double barrel. Bruh. Is it always double barrel now? Did I miss the memo? More health, that's fine. I, I don't know where on here it says Dayless gets double barrel every time. Alright. I suppose I shouldn't complain too much because it, it does work out for what we're doing. I mean... This is fine. Everything here is actually fine. 22 damage. Um, I think we will slow these down. Okay, lots of dazes. That's what you want to see. Uh, we can work this. You just go for one of this. Money. One of this. Money. He doesn't die, unfortunate, because we want him to expire. I'm an idiot. I, I needed one for... Fuck. Okay. New plan. We're gonna use the Wicklash. We're gonna use it very, very well. Like, consistent Wicklash. It needs to come out so we don't lose. Like, it, it ad nauseum what Wicklash him. Them. Because I am, I am a very foolish individual. Don't do me in like this game. I made a mistake. What, what can I say? You know, we all make mistakes. You'd hold it against me? No, my boys. We're getting money for it, but my boys. Please stop. They're both gonna die. <laughs> uh, figgity yuck, man. Why am I... Why am I dense sometimes? Or a lot of the time. The world may never know. Oh, these guys are going straight to the top floor. Frig. Ay, yeah, 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 Decent damage. That's decent damage. Let it be known. I have decent damage on the board. There you go. How do you like it? Getting deep. Fuck. Still fine. I think this one is doable. I just need a Wicklash. Excellent. Wicklash is all we really needed for this to work out. Boom. That's good damage. Just get the damage where you can, son. I think I lose. <laughs> yeah. Okay, listen. 
Hear me out. So that, that was just a very... But remember what I said earlier in the run about, like, you know, you could see the damage coming and, you know, except the parts where you're a fool? That was me, you know, being the fool. Uh, we're not gonna end on that note. I don't care if this video goes on for another hour, although I might <laughs> a little. Um, but that, that was just like a, a supreme throw. Like, we had that one in the bag. If I just, uh, really just tossed one damage up there and kept our respawns going, that was an easy win. So we're going back into it. We have Molten in Kaysen this time, so we have to alter our play. Ritual Battles. This is gonna hinge more on the demon units this time around. And that's okay, I can I can work with that. And then you got Mark of the Consumed, or Memories of the Melted. Mark of the Consumed? Like those letters don't even appear there. Instead of Consume here. Uh, one fire for every friendly unit that died this battle. We can go for big units. Big money, big prizes. Let's go. And this is the plan. This is the plan right here. So we're just gonna get some good revival on him, and we're good to go. Grant three stacks of burnout every time it's applied. Perfect. Pogificity. Grant four stacks of armor each time it's applied to friendly units. Also very cool. I don't think I've ever seen that before. But this is the wax. This is the way. So, at the moment, we have no way to get extra burnout. None. None burnout. So we cannot play... Oh, he has six turns of burnout? Hang on. Yes, we can. We can play it. In fact, give me extra money while we're at it. Fairly certain the boss shows up in six turns. If not, we can hold off one turn and then, you know, play him after the fact. A little less so when this is the opener they give you. Uh, to be fair. I could have, I could have, okay. We're going a little fast. Slow down. You could, you could have molted that guy, all right? I know there's some tilt going on. We don't have to play bad if we're tilted. Okay. I am losing money on this, however. Less okay, but we'll manage. You gotta let him go. You just, sometimes you gotta let things go, you know? That, that was pointless, because th there's no, like, you know, okay, you understand? Okay, cool, we all understand. Hey, let's summon up more units here, so when these, uh, Archer lads get through, we have a response. We also need Richter to show up. Richter Belmont? Of course. Alright, roast him, roast him. We've minimized the damage we will take on that turn. There he is. I knew he'd show up. I wasn't worried. All right. Slap him down here. Slap this here. 59 damage. Solid. You tried to purge me. I say no, sir. You lose. Seven energy. That's going to be a very fun card. Um, stealth up and... Boom. Excellent. 100 damage without him needing to retaliate at all. That's going to be key for the boss fight. Okay, um, we're looking for something else. This is not it. This will help us get through the early game, though. I think it's like a drip fall, actually. Days and descend. Solid. Uh, vents. Some AoE damage we could actually use right now. So I am going to squeeze in the vents. And on strike. Friendly Baron units gain three rage. Ooh. Okay. Lady of the House, though. Too good to pass up. So with this Wax Ball, we actually want to upgrade our units more than we do our spells. Also because our spells are non-existent. So uh, unit upgrades it is today. Uh, Wiggles Baron plus three, plus three for health and damage. You gotta think, like, unless there's a way for me to upgrade that Harvest ability somehow... At most, he's going to be like a 26 damage or something. So it's sort of like just a holdover unit. That won't die. Um, but it's just not that good. That being said, I do need some buffer right now, so we will go for it. We don't have a lot of money to work with, so we need to hold fast here. Uh, these upgrades are kind of booty. Having quick could be nice. Quick on Lady of the House is a good early game keep, I think. So, yes to you. And we're going to combine that with, um, you know, Harvest Lord there.
spikes. Spikes, 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 spikes. No, because spikes means all of our dredge units don't get to play the game. This guy gets to play the game for like two seconds, so... Spikes is a no. How about no? Again, we don't need a Richter out the gate. You don't need to Malcolm in the middle. Alright, that's fine. If we need a Richter later, we'll Richter later. Everything is still under control here. That... that spell did give him the damage he needed to escape him. You are correct. You are absolutely correct if, you know, you saw that and you're like, Tim, you gotta pivot. Also, my guy's not getting kills down here, so these guys aren't around buffing him up. Also acknowledged. Listen, I, I gotta pop him at the very least. Actually, I can pop him both. That's fine. His damage is negligible. Three damage? I laugh at that. I hand wave the notion of that. Can I be real with you? Can I can I get some fireballs on this turn? So she dies from burnout, thankfully. It's a good way to go. You know, it's just prepping him for the future, that's all. Okay. Very solid damage. Let's go ahead and remove. The healer threat, because because things are happening right now. Um. Okay. <laughs> With bated breath, dude. Jesus Christ. That was about to be really bad. Uh, but we we won. <laughs> uh, you can hear the confidence in my voice. Uh, I need I need units. I need these the explosives are cool and the stealth is cool, but it, like it, it's not doing the, like the trick. I need I need units for this to work. I will take the bomb. Am I being trolled? I think I'm being trolled. Uh, slightly trolled because Hornbreak is still a godsend, but uh, I'm just getting a little biffed here. Just like a small biffage, minor biffage. Uh, look, a unit. A Hellhorn unit. I do see the vent, but what am I gonna vent? Lady of the Quick? Uh, yes, actually. That is something you would unit, or a vent. But the relics could be a saving grace right now, please. Plus two friendly units on kill, and it's good. Plus three rage on enemy units, or friendly units, sorry, entering. A little bit better, especially because... Yeah! Rage on friendly units adds an additional three per stack. That's my boy! That's our... Carry, kinda? You don't need more space to make that work out, but that could work. Uh, going bronze. Umber rares are just eats. Stygians are gonna be spells more than likely. Which is not bad for what we're doing. And this is gonna be like a heal or something. Give me a spell. You know what? Yeah, Siren Song's actually decent. That can actually remove one threat for a modest amount of time. It's not consume on use, right? It might remove for a modest amount of time. I mean, if we see some uh, units that we can easily just dust with a, an ascension to the pyre room, so be it. All right, Daedalus. It's not double barrel. It's explosive sigil instead. To be honest, double barrel's not that bad if we can target it, but we can still target these. So it's actually worse. I complain for nothing, basically. I understand. Um... This is mostly to get damage in on him, so take the hit for me. Appreciate it. Gonna have some problems on this floor. Some problems, but not infinite problems. Just a few problems. This works. This works pretty well. This guy's already at the 27-27. I was talking shit, but it's actually doing pretty dang good. 
Another excellent play right here. Drip fall. Back down. Easy Dunkachino here. In fact, 25 damage. Start getting some work done here. Most excellent. Like, this is a group you could send to the freaking Pyre room. If it were to show up. Um, same plan. Keep sacking that guy. Torch him. Slice that one up. Get some damage ready there, at the very least. I'm actually going to go ahead and burn this so I can, uh... Mostly remove the bomb threat. Let me take a look at this guy. Look at this guy! He got pretty beefy, but this is about as good as it gets. And that's with me killing a fair bit of units on this floor. And having rage to start off. So, like, endgame, at least on Ascension, this doesn't seem like it does much. Unless there's a way I can, like, double stack that, I don't see that being excellent. Don't, don't ascend those guys, okay? Yeah, I was about to say, I could do this, uh, Pyre Bound thing. No. That, that's how you lose. Could do it to these guys. Rather just get the damage here on, uh, roast them out. Slap this in front so we get a little bit more buffs on him. Days for one turn, and that's all she wrote. Surprisingly enough, this boy has carried us effectively. Cool. I appreciate it, but again, I don't know if that's an endgame option. Consume double the amount of rage on friendly units. It's not the worst. Similar case with this guy, like, you know, extinguish, as in he dies. This gets stronger, later you get it, the worse it is, and again. Uh, unless I'm reviving him, which I can't do on this run, it's not good. If I could revive him. I can see it being good for, like, a, a bit of burst, but it just acts like a bomb is how I see it, so... Not great. Memento Mori, deal damage for enemy unit equals to ten times the number of friendly unit deaths this battle. That is a good spell card to hold us over. They are very... I just realized how similar everything is about these guys. Minus the background and the clothes is... These guys look a little thicker, actually. <laughs> yeah. Um... Alpha Fiend. He strikes, he gets stronger. What's not to like? Is the second Wickless Baron really the play? That's a hard sell for me. Because they need to get kills for it to start running, and I don't see that happening. And then we don't want to, like, split up our Wickless Barons and have two of them going at it, because then... One of them's gonna get everything, and we're like, you know, you're gonna split them and make them weaker. So I think it is Alpha Fiend. And with that, I think we will go for a space upgrade, so we can really stack them up on one floor and get the money rolling. Speaking of money, there it is. Became Sean Connery for a second. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, unit upgrades are potentially the right choice. Like, this guy's excellent with our current deck. It's really good. Spell upgrades could be a godsend. Could, not is, of course. Getting these cheaper, for instance, because we have the ability to get even more rage. It's a lot of damage. I think I'm going for the spell upgrades. Two days. 16 rage. Six days. This remove some units from the fight altogether. This is the endgame play, so that's what I'm going to go for. 
Let's just make it bearable to play. Plus 10 magic power, so yeah. Just an extra 10 damage on top. I think I'd rather have that on you. Reroll. And we have enough to go ahead and upgrade you. Allows us to clear out a floor. And then spell cost-wise, let's make you a little bit easier to play. That's just for like the holdover to um, get us the end game, because we want to upgrade that other rage. Absolutely want to upgrade the other rage. Ooh, the option for burnout and reformation. I still think we're gonna go for the big burnout stack unit, because that's still gonna be our end game, uh, you know, kill Seraph card. Combine that with like four turns of stealth. Enough rage, find a way to get multi strike on him. That could do it. Enemy units enter with spell shield. Not great considering we have cards that are designed to, you know, be played on guys to take care of them, so. Uh, the money is for gone. Be honest with you guys, just... They have to be on the top floor. For some reason I thought this was a little different, which is fine, because if they still get up there and we have this on, you know, on demand, uh, it's good. It's good enough. Get some damage going with that. Also, let some things die with that. Okay, this is still okay. Less okay, because now we don't have the space. But... Alright, and by doing that, I save their HP, but I don't get the money. Which is actually not, not correct. That is not the play. Lady of the house... Knows what it's all about. He just got up here, huh? I, I mean, I didn't stop him, so yeah. Of course, of course he did. Alright, we're running into some issues here. There's our Wickless Baron. Without any kills coming in, though, this is a harder sell. And I can't put you there. Putting you up there gets you no benefit, so you will be here. You will be remembered. Just come come back to us, alright? I recognize my mistake, just come back. We'll bring you back in a second as well. In fact, how crazy are you on the idea of uh, taking a hit for me? Not that crazy, I take it, because you're just continuing to run away. Alright, I think this is going to be the play. We, we, we rage up the Wickless Baron on this one. 30 damage? That's not that great. And we're barely doing any damage to him. It's just horrible all around. There you go. Punch through a little bit harder. It's decent. Thank fucking god. Alright. We're still good, but a lot of the trash is getting by us. I did not set up an ideal floor there. A George is a George. You know? Okay, some rare cards here. When you die on this floor, you can soul. Extinguished, you'll... Yeah, you know what? Let's go. Let's fucking go. Oh, Inferno! So Inferno is a good card to get because it allows you to clear off a floor for free. It costs you all your mana to do so, but it's a free turn. Which means we can start stacking on the second and third floors and save the first floor for Inferno. And only Inferno. Could even get another Inferno. Um, might be a little, little meme at that point. Be real with you. you double on Deranged Brute. So we got Deranged Brute, Deranged Brute. Lady of the Candle. That's the whole floor. 
Or we split our deranged brutes. Give the Wickless Baron some showtime. This deck is all over the place. <laughs> uh, keeping this guy alive is actually pretty important as well. There's still some more money to be spent on spells, so I actually will squeeze over here first. And I know, I know, but like, this is still correct. Uh, I'm gonna upgrade Inferno, just so we have some clear potential. And I will upgrade the spell damage on you once more, so we have tertiary clear potential. At least 20 damage for free. And we'll see what's in store in this room. It's really been 55 minutes of me sucking it up today. Nice. If this slays an enemy, you get 50 gold. If we could be so lucky. I'm actually going to go for it because I kind of need a win here. If I can start making some mad spawn dually off of some of my cards, that'll be the ticket. Alright. Show me what you got. No, no, not Crystal Cloak. This is not what I meant. Frig, dude. Crystal Cloak. Get out of here. Get him out of here. Alright, very bold and audacious play. And by that I mean a very, very bold and audacious play. But we do this. He sweeps everyone, I should have paid attention to that. Oh, which is not good because this guy's gonna die then. Hmm. Funk. Good news. Made a lot of money. And this guy's stacking up. Bad news. Uh, it's already gone. It's all gone. It's all bad. I have no way to bring that back either. Fuck. Alright. Secondary play, Deranged Brute. With Wickless Baron. Let's go. Okay, two good units are coming through. Send them up. We're not- yeah, we're gonna let this go. Very good, very good. I'm gonna put you here. And we're getting some damage up here. Final wave, I may as well just freaking Inferno dunk, but I think- oh no. No, I need more stealth. I need more stealth. That's a lot of damage, brother. I'm gonna do zero damage, though. <laughs> oh, fuck my life. Like, that- that's- that's the nuts right there, but... It's, a uh, Crystal Cloak, so I lose. I unfortunately lose as a result of the crystal and the cloak. Alright, hey. Sometimes it's not your day, you know? Thanks for watching regardless, guys. Uh, sorry for this one. Uh, there, were some, there were some pieces in the last one. This last run, there were some pieces I was putting together. Uh, I did pay attention to that the big guy had sweep. Which uh, kind of ruined my plans to make my soul bomb. Uh, soul bomb. Because it, it just dies in two hits. Uh... Yeah. Dude, new record for stealth applied. Awesome. New record for souls applied. Awesome. <laughs> My train is still, like, exploded and thrown to the wayside, however. Thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy the rest of your morning, afternoon, evening, etc. It is for you. Enjoy your weekend, and I will see you all... We'll say tomorrow, but I'm not... Not, not promising anything, but we'll see you tomorrow as the standard for the next one. Take it easy, everybody.